maybe a question about Elon Musk, um, even more than Jeff Bezos. He has a very kind of ambitious vision mm -hmm. of um, this project that we're on as a species, yeah. of becoming a multiplanetary species and becoming that quickly. Like yeah, as I, soon as possible, landing on Mars, colonizing Mars. Yep. What do you think of that project? There's two questions to ask. First, the question is, what what, what do you think about the project of colonizing Mars? Mm -hmm. And second, what do you think about a human being who is so unapologetically ambitious at achieving the impossible, at what a lot of people would say is impossible? I think that colonizing Mars is the kind of of goal that's uh it's easily stated uh it, it's um it's catchy it's 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 the kind of thing that that can inspire people to get involved in a way that some other programs might not um so i think it's well chosen in that way um i have technical questions about <laughs> um <laughs> you know, there's there's a, a problem of perchlorates uh on the surface of mars that's, that's going to be big trouble um, and there's there's radiation, so and it, this is known. I'm, uh, but um, what about business questions? Do mm, you think because you mentioned sort of uh, going outside of the solar system would would best be done for religious reasons? Um, what about colonizing Mars? Can you spin it into a business proposition? It's hard to think of a resource that's on Mars that could be brought back here cheaply enough to compete with um, uh, with stuff we could just dig out of the ground here or grow here. Um, so I, I don't know if there is a business plan for that or if it's just strictly, we're gonna go there and, and see what happens, um, you know. Maybe again, we need communism to kind of yeah, to get us going, <laughs> to give us a reason, a little bit of the competition. Well, there's plenty of people who are sufficiently excited by the colonize Mars vision that they're willing to to just go all in on it, um, even if there's not a, a business plan behind it. Um, so, so I think it's well chosen. It's just, uh, um, I, I think it's probably the only um, the only approach to take. Um, you know, a, a lot of the, when, when white people came to this continent and, and started colonizing it, you know, uh, there was not a lot of coherent planning, like what, what plans they did have turned out to be terrible plans. Um, you know, trying to come up with plans that extend decades into the future is, uh, is a waste of time. To do it for the kind of the, like unexplainable love of the unknown, like like the the uh, the journey towards exploring the unknown. Yeah, and just kind of keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you saw it with Shatner and his uh, reaction to the the flight uh, yesterday. Um, he, uh, um, for him, that trip was more than worth it, just for these intangible reasons. What did he say? I haven't watched the video yet. He was trying to express the, the uh, talking a lot about the moment where suddenly you kind of rise above the the thin blue blanket of uh, of the atmosphere and and you're up into the the blackness um, and uh, that had a huge impact on him. So he was kind of uh, I wouldn't say groping for words because he was pretty eloquent, but he was trying to express his feelings about that. Um, in, in a way that uh, is, is pretty pretty gripping to watch. So you, you've worked on this kind of stuff. We can go back to 10 years ago. You wrote an essay uh, called Innovation Starvation. You worked on this kind of idea uh, since then. Kind of looking at uh, maybe a little bit cynically about our age today and our unwillingness to take on big risky projects. So in the face of that, what do you think of uh, people like Elon Musk? Because to me, people like that are inspiring and gives you hope in the face of uh, a more kind of um, pessimistic perspective of, uh, of our age. 
Yeah, well, he's clearly willing to tackle um, big, ambitious uh, projects uh, without a lot of um, kind of soul searching or uh, or or sort of trying to make up his mind. Right? <laughs> it's just like um, just go and do it. Let's dig tunnels under cities. Go, you know. Let's yeah. um, um, step yeah. one: make a joke about it on Twitter. Step two: actually do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I mean, things have slowed down uh, quite our, our ability to um, to to build things uh, uh, at pace um, is is a lot less than it was. And there's there's reasons for that. You know, we're more concerned with safety and environmental impacts than um, than people were when they were building uh, some of the great public works projects of the mid twentieth century. Um, but even we're at the point now where even just maintaining the stuff that we've got is such a huge project um, that we need to put big resources into it and and good minds into it, um, or else we're going to be we're going to be losing uh, things that that we take for granted.